was a little bit challenging, but now we get into more of a sukkah, more of a gishmak of Gemara. Let's actually get, just because for those who either are visual learners or like to pretend to be a visual learner, or like to space out and look at picture books picture while books. learning. <laughs> picture books, stop. Listen, we'll all uh, admit to whatever we want to admit to. And uh, there's another one. Okay, or you guys can share. We're good, we're good. You, you, you can share. Sharing is caring. Okay. Hi, son, Kavayis. We learned in the Mishnah, if we forgot this din, then, as we like to say, you effectively are throwing yourself out of the year. We don't throw anyone out, but if you forgot the din in the Mishnah that the maximum height of a sick is 20 amos, um, then, you know, you should, you know, probably check out. Maybe go on vacation. <laughs> I'm not going to say what else, but if, 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 if we showed up one time and we didn't know that, we have a problem. But says the Hilgi Gemara, two lines to the bottom, it's taller than 20 amos. So what do you do? And you want to, ma'atoi from the word mi'ot, to lessen. How do you want to lessen it? You've got to fill up the airspace of your circus. What do you do? Kara miksasa is pillows and blankets. It gives a picture over here. Interesting pillows and blankets. I don't know, I could have done better with the paler picture. But anyways, on the bottom of page number 11, if you really need to see what pills and blankets look like. But basically, you're piling up pills and blankets on the floor of your sukkah, and then now you're going to be on top of the pills and blankets, and therefore, when you're in the sukkah, how tall is it? Less than 20 amos. Says the Gemara, loy have miat. It doesn't work. It does not work. Why does it not work? Look at the bottom last few words of Rashi on the Amud. Says Rashi, no, it doesn't work. You're not going to leave it there. Your wife's going to tell you, where in the world's the blanket? Where's the pillow? No, it's the extra ones. Well, we're having company. Get them out of there. You're never going to leave the pills and blankets there for seven days. Rashi says, a different reason to have sin mom when you're afraid it's going to get ruined. So because you're not going to leave it there for seven days, therefore, it doesn't work. I outdoor furniture. Oh, very good. So you're saying, why don't just be more inventive? Go, continues the Gemara. Continues the Gemara. The Afal Gav, one last line. And even though, you're mavatal it there. You take your pills, you take your blankets, you throw it outside, you say, ha, you know, you say, I don't know, you say, kol chamira, and you start saying, kaparis, and you say everything, I'm leaving them there. You need a sucker, right? Says the Gemara, it still doesn't work. Misham, debaladaita, it's a kol adam. Your das, your mindset is bottle, is null to the world. You ask a normal person, do you leave pills and blankets on the floor for seven days? The answer is no. So even though you want to do that, it does not work. Outdoor furniture oh, applies. So it says the Gemara Vaiter. So you, you, went, you, know, you went fancy. The Gemara went a little bit more yeshivish. Tevin, put a little straw on the floor. Well, what do you need to go all crazy? Go to your front yard, grab a pile of straw, grab a pile of dirt, throw it into the sukkah, build up the floor, and everything's good. Says the Gemara Tevin, if you put straw, ubitloi, and you are mivatel it there, you say you're going to leave it there, then have miot. It works. And now your sukkah is effectively shrunk, and you're inside appropriate size the sukkah. Vikol shakane, and certainly if you put what? Afar dirt, ubitloi. And you are mevatel it there. Period. Now, you mentioned what about putting other items in there? We'll just we'll just bring out the, the shaila shabai. Outdoor furniture, but you have to be on top of the furniture. So you have to spend seven days standing on your table. Oh, you built a stage. So what we're gonna see right now is if you create a situation that is going to be there, then it's gonna work. The problem here is you didn't just mean, for example, you took your pills and blankets. Let's say you took your pills and blankets and like well, this is not so gishmak, standing pills and blankets. So you take some folding tables, and you put them on top of the pills and blankets, and then you go on top of that. There is a, for sure going to become a point that it's there, right? <laughs> you stab the pills and blankets, you rip, you know? There comes a point that you just built the floor, right? We all know what's underneath this floor, right? We got some blue, uh, who knows what? We got some popcorn underneath it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but let's say, you know, you said, no, it's not working for the show. Let's just pull up the boards and put it in there. So there comes a point, it's good. So says the Gemara, straw and you are mivatalit, dirt and you are mivatalit, then it works. But ask the Gemara, Shaila, Tevin, straw, ve'in asid lefan nasai, and you, and ve'in and is not asid in the future, lefan nasai, you're not going to take it out, you're not going to clear it away. What does that mean? 
What it means is you were not mevatel it. You didn't say you're going to leave it there, but you just plan on leaving it there. As you can realize, there's a step of a difference there. To be mevatel something, you say this is going to stay there. That's one level. Or you just say, I'm not going to take it off. It's a different level. So what's the status of straw and you plan on leaving it there? Or a first time. You take dirt, you throw it in your sukkah, you didn't say you're being mevatel it, you didn't say you're not going to take it out, you just put the dirt there. Is that enough? Is that enough? Says the mach- Gemara, this is a machlaikas Rav Yaisi vira banan. Now, this machlaikas Rav Yaisi vira banan, as we're going to see, is going to be a shtickle random, but it's going to be the aside of what they're saying. Ditinan, as we learned in the Mishnah. Bayis, a house. Shemil uhu tevin. That is filled with straw. And this is, you know, for the visual learner, it's very important to see. This is called a house filled with straw. Very important. Yeah, okay, good. Now your life just changed. You have a house filled with straw. Now the truth is, there is something important there that they stripped on the bottom, the word mace. Because what's going on over here is, is really we're talking about Dini mace. What happens? Any condom here? No condom. Okay, good. So what happens if right now, in the middle of a shear, and all of a sudden, it gets a little smelly, we go underneath the bima, and we're like, oh my gosh, there's a dead body sitting there. Wild, wild. Newest, uh, making the news tomorrow morning for sure. So what happens? The neighbor's going to freak out. Every, everything, it's a halavai, let them go running. Everything in this room is tummy. That's the way, now, what if you're on top of the roof? You're not tummy. The tumma's contained in the room. Beautiful. What if this room was this case, was filled with straw. Every inch of the room is filled with straw. On the bottom of all the straw, there's a mace. If there's no airspace of a tefach, then the halacha is, fascinating halacha, the tumah doesn't stay inside, it shoots up all the way to Shemaim. Then if you're standing on the roof, all of a sudden you're tummy. A fascinating din of tumah v'tayra. It's all about an airspace, a tefach that's there. This is the reason why. When we bury bodies, usually a tefach is left between the mace and the next layer. Why? So then there's really no toma that comes up. Really no toma. And this is all safeguards, etc., etc. Obviously, we're still mocked, but for God, etc., etc. So now, says the Gemara, we have a house that's filled with tevin, with straw, with rocks, ubit lai, and you play, and you say you're being mavatal and mavutal. It's considered that it's there. Says the Gemara, bit lai in. If you say you're mevatel it, then it works. Lie bit lie, but if you do not, then lie. It doesn't work. Okay, I did. Vitani Allah, and we learned on this Mishnah. Rabbi Yaisi Yaimer, says Rabbi Yaisi. If there's tevin, if there's straw, vein asid lefan nasai, and you don't plan on clearing it out, not that you proactively said or had das that you're going to be mevatel it. No, you just don't plan on clearing it out. Hare, who it is like ke'afar, like dirt stam, and what? U bottle, and it's considered bottle. Whereas if there is off our dirt, the asid lefanasa, and you plan on cleaning it out, harehu kistam teven, v'loi bottle. So what do we see? We just got the answer to our question. Because what does Rav Yaisi hold? Rav Yaisi holds, if I have straw and I don't plan on cleaning it out, it's like stam dirt, which is what? Bottle. So according to Rav Yaisi, if I put straw in my sukkah, or dirt in my sukkah, dirt with no intent, straw with intent just not to clean it out, what's the halacha? It's bottle, it's there. But according to the Rabbanan, what's the halacha? No. According to the Rabbanan, that was the Tanakhama, it's only going to work. Always need to have intent. That machloikes about Toma v'tayra, whether it's considered to be there, whether it's going to keep the Toma in the room, is going to be the same machloikes, by us in sukkah, gishmak. According to the Rabban, and if you're mavatal it, it's going to work to fix your sukkah. According to Rav Yaisi, it's going to need, even if you're not mavatal it. Beautiful. One more case, just because it's Wednesday, and we only had one share this week, unfortunately. So let's just go a job further, and hopefully we'll try to look at it over the weekend. Ha'isa gavaya me'esrim ama. And as we always mention, you know, we, we learn a few minutes every night. We've only learned a few times. I don't know the exact number. But we're on Davdalid. 
So if you think about it, like, okay, every night it's a few little bit, a little bit of lemaisa. If we actually, and I'll talk for myself, I did not, I did a chazer a little bit when I sent out the voice notes, but like if we were to think about it, Bezin Gimel, if each time we were to look at it for an extra two minutes, now Bezin Gimel will be on our fingertips. And, and it adds on, that's just the nature. Of every, day, every time I, I blow myself away, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're on Daf Dalit. Like, what just happened? Didn't we just start? We learned like five times and like, we're on Daf Dalit. That's just the way it goes. So that's, that's really the biggest push should be internally. Like, why not? If tomorrow we make those five minutes and on Shabbos we make the five minutes, by the time next Monday comes, we'll have another piece of Gemara. Like, have it and not just have uh, some superficial, uh, you know. If you're sick, it's tall and 20 amas. And the hutzin, the leaves, the branches, the schach, are hanging down low. What's the halacha? Meaning, the interior ear space is less than 20 amas. But do we count it from where the schach are? Or do we count it from these branches hanging down? Says the Gemara, it depends. Im silasan, if their shade, whose shade? The shade of these branches, of these chach hanging low. If their shade is meruba mechama sun, is more than their sun, what does that mean? That means it's sufficient area hanging down. It's kosher schach. Then kshera. Because then that means that's the schach. That's enough. Meaning, if you were to get rid of the top layer, for example, just for a simple to view it, let's say you had a bamboo on top, perfectly kosher schach. And then you have hanging down like vines and things like that. So now, get rid of the bamboo. Do you have kosher schach? Forget about the fact that it's going to fall. That's not the point. In the, in the area of blocking the sun, if that stuff hanging down is enough to block the sun, to give you shade, then it's good. So then that means that's kosher schach. That means it minimizes your interior of the sukkah. Ve'em lav, psula. If not, it's going to be possible. One more, one more case on the flip side. What about how you say gavoya yutfachim? What if your sukkah is 10 tfachim tall? Which is the minimum height of a sukkah. But now on the flip side. Vahutin yard in the teich yod. And the branches hang low. So what would you think? Mamish the same thing. Sovar abayil amimer. The exact same thing. Im chamasa. Now it's the flip side, right? Because now you don't want it to be used as chach. Because if it's used as chach, then it minimizes your sukkah and it makes it possible. So abayil thought the same. Chamasa and rumasi la sun. They have to more sun than shade kshera. Amle rava no. Why not? The same case, no? Hadira suruchahi, because to live in such a cramped area, it's already the minimum size sukkah, and now you have branches in your face, is a dira suruchah. Surucha means smelly, ichi, not good. It's a bad dwelling. He adam dar, bedira suruchah, and you can't live in that. So even though theoretically, in the height, it might be okay, but because you can't live in such an area, it's not good to be kosher. Shkayach, chever. Anyone who wants some chicken, please.